Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I am going to talk about Ethermon and how to maximize your time so you can get the most rewards. This goes beyond just battling. This talks about digging, uh, using your Ethermon, all of your Ethermon to really, really maximize all that energy to really get the most rewards, whether it be marks, silver tickets, vegetables like beets, uh, carrots, um, cabbages, uh, and even um, actually uh, there's cucumbers. Yes, cucumbers, which again, all are very, very important because the more vegetables you have, the more you can feed your ethermon, so you could keep uh, battling them so you could level them up. So I am going to go over all this, one of those other strategies that I like to kind of maximize uh, when I log into Ethermont on the central land. So if you have any questions about this, guys, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. I will go over, uh, I do go over new videos every single week talking about Ethermont, NFTs, uh, actually other uh, crypto games as well, um, Bitcoin, Ether, Ethereum, all that kind of cool stuff. So if this is something you are interested in, please subscribe to the YouTube channel down below. I do, again, post the videos every single week. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to quickly share my screen so I guys can kind of show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right now, I am in Decentraland, um, and I have pretty much battled out all the Grand Slime Ethermon. I pretty much beat them all. So I have a lot of, uh, by the way, I have a lot of Ethermon. I have around 26 Ethermon. Uh, so once I battle and, and, and focus on the ones that I want to level up, hey, I have all these other Ethermon and I want to maximize their energy. So what I start doing, I start pretty much going and start digging. You know, I'm, I'm trying to dig and get as much out of their energy so I can get as much reward. So if you guys can see, I already got this little bag. I'm going to get I'm going to try to get another one. And I'm going to continue to do this until I, I pretty much finish all the energy um and and it's especially uh, you know especially if they have uh, still a lot of energy uh and i want to kind of walk them around different areas to see where they could dig and see what they could get you know so let me see what else you could do let me see if we can get another one so i, I believe on average each ether mound, if they have a full health bar energy they do dig around five bags on average uh, depending, of course, on the level, but five is about right. So uh, this guy already ran out of energy. So what I'm going to do, I'm uh, pretty much going to put it to sleep and then I'm going to go to the next one. So I have another Ethermon over here that I want to use. It has a lot of health as well. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have, have it pretty much keep digging. So I'm going to have it dig. So right now it's, it's digging and see, see what it does. See, it got this blue one. Ooh, these blue ones, I believe, are cabbages. Yes, cabbage seeds. See, so I'm gonna keep keep having dig uh, around the, the, the area. I'm gonna keep and by, while he's digging, of course, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking these uh these little bags to see what they are. So I got a cucumber, I got a beet seed, I got another beet seed, and I got a silver ticket. Nice. And I'm gonna keep digging this until I pretty much exhausted all their energy. Uh, nice. I'm going to have this, uh, and I, again, like I mentioned, I'm going to keep digging this Ethermont until I have exhausted all of his energy. And nice, I got another one, and I believe, let me actually get this one right here. I think it has one more, one more dig. And I believe that'll be it for it, yep. So that's pretty much it, I exhausted all his energy. And the, the way you know you exhausted all the energy, you can't really have it dig no more it says not enough energy so at that point again since i've already battled actually there's another one over here nice since i've already pretty much battled all the my uh the uh, grind slam away and i've already kind of um uh, kind of already uh you could say um i'm actually going to put this one to sleep too so i'm going to have this ethermon sleep as well so and the reason why I wanted to sleep is I wanted to recharge so it could have full health energy for the next time I use it. So then I'm going to go down the list. I'm going to keep going down the list and go to the next Ethermont. And I'm going to use this Egmont. Another Hampress. 
Uh, I'm going to have it unfollow me, but I'm going to have it dig now. And I'm going to keep repeating this process uh, until I pretty much run out of Ethermon uh, and I run, I run them out of energy, you know. And keep in mind, after I waste their energy, after all their energy is pretty much gone, I just put them asleep. And hopefully by tomorrow, the next day, hey, you know, I could, uh, I could uh, use them again, battle with them, or um, pretty much dig, dig for, for uh, more rewards. So that's pretty much the strategy overall. Um, you know, especially these Ethermon that I'm not, I'm not focused on leveling them up. So you see right here, level one, this uh, Eggmon, is, uh, Eggmon is on level one. It's a hampers type of Ethermon. So I'm not really, like I said, uh, my goal is not to, to uh, level them up, uh, but I could use them, uh, their energy to uh, dig, you know? And I believe that will be the last dig. Yes, that is the last dig. So I'm going to put it to sleep now. I'm going to put it to sleep and I'm going to go to the next one. So I got this other one right here. Um, and it's a, it's a snob at Cloudy. And I'm going to uh, pretty much repeat the same pattern. I'm going to have them dig. And in the meantime, I'm going to pick up these little bags. Beet seed. I got another beet seed. I got a beet seed. I got another beet seed. And let me see what I got here. I got a silver ticket. Nice. Beet seed. Uh, let's see what this is. Beet seed. I'm going to, again, have them dig. Now, you guys can see here on the left side, you guys will see I have 31 silver tickets. Uh, here are my marks. I have 95 marks. Um, and in terms of knowing how many beets or seeds or cabbages I've gotten, uh, actually, the way to know is that if you want to plant one, you I'll just come here to this garden uh, crop, I guess they call it garden crop or garden box, and then you'll see what you have. So right now I have a cabbage, two cucumbers, and I have 40 beets. It's pretty good. So again, I'm going to continue to, to uh, have this uh, uh, icy, that's what I named this ethermon, continue to dig until all his energy is wasted. See, all his energy is wasted, so I'm going to put it to sleep now, and I'm going to go get this little bag. And I am now going to move on to the next one. So I'm going to get this other one now. And I am going to pretty much repeat the same process again until all their energy is wasted. And every time their energy is wasted, I pretty much will all do, I'll just have it uh, go to sleep. And I will use it the next day. Um, so. And. Uh, and one thing I want to mention, guys, uh, that I wanted to show you guys is that uh, actually helicopter. Yeah. So I have um, all their, I have pretty much like 26 Ethermon. So I only have pretty much right now uh, four that I really want to level up, maybe five actually that I really want to level up. Um, you know, and right now I'm actually one of them, I've leveled up to level 11. It's actually a uh, bear ball. It's, uh, I named it Sia Bear, bear Ball. And I leveled up to level 11. And I've been actually been able to battle and, and finish the, the, the pretty much the battles pretty quickly. So, um, you know, which is pretty awesome because, you know, you could just, once you have a certain level, actually this one already pretty much done. So I'm going to put it to sleep. The helicopter is done. So I'm going to go with white ears. And again, I'm going to repeat the same pattern until I'm pretty much waste all the energy. And every time I'm done with their energy, I put them to sleep. And so they can recover. And what I want to do with all these uh, vegetables that, I, that, I'm, that I'm accumulating, I want to use them for my Ethermon that I'm trying to level up. So when I'm battle, when I'm so when I'm battling them, uh, and they exhausted all the energy, hey, I could just literally just feed them the cucumbers, the beads, the cabbage, the carrots, whatever, and then have them um, battle again so they can level up. Uh, so you don't have until all the, the slime ethermon are pretty much gone. Um, and one thing that's really cool that I kind of want to mention is that even though here, this is actually example six of the battle arena on ethermon to central land, there's actually, uh, of course, five more. And those other ones actually have more slime. So I could continue to battle. So once I beat all the, the grass slimes, um, and one, actually, this guy's already done, so I'm going to put it to sleep. 
once you pretty much battled all the grass slimes and I pretty much beat them all, I could just log into another uh, battle arena and, and beat those ones up. And I could keep leveling up in the same day, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I will show you guys once I'm done doing all this uh, digging. And pretty much right now, I am an example six, if you, and, but I can go to example one, two, three, four, and five and battle all the grass slimes and continue to level up my ethermon. And so I literally have wasted all my, all my energy, all my vegetables, um, you know, from all these uh, other ethermon there I've dig, and I'm pretty much done for the day. Uh, so that's another thing that I wanted to mention in terms of strategy, uh, you know, that I highly, highly recommend. Uh, because once you have all these uh, vegetables, you can pretty much continue to battle your ethermon um, along all the battle arenas until you waste all your energy or until you waste all your vegetables. Um, and I will show you in a bit, um, Bear Ball, I already have it a level, the central line level 11, which is pretty awesome. And now every time I battle is literally, I win right away. I win like 80% of the time, like, and like, a couple of shots, you know, a couple hits, and then I win. Okay, this one already fell asleep. I mean, um, wasted his energy. So I'm going to go with the next one. Go with funny nose. Uh, and again, I'm going to continue to do the same thing until I pretty much have exhausted all their energy and then I pretty much put them to sleep. So this type of stuff takes time, guys. Um, I know it could be time consuming, but if you do this once a day, you could probably get it done. Like in, uh, I could say, well, depending on how many Ethermine you have, I do have 26. I was very fortunate to uh, actually get some of these free, free uh, uh, Ethermine uh, multiple times. It was open for everybody uh, to take some. Uh, so, hey, I just actually... Um, you know, I had an opportunity to take even more, but I did, you know, I just wanted to, you know, take a couple. Uh, I did buy some. I know right now, if you look at the starter uh, homepage, uh, there's three Ethermons that are for sale. I did buy those three and, and I'll show you guys right now. So this is a starter store. There's three Ethermon that are for sale. I did buy those three as well. So I am, I do want to support Ethermon. I, I do believe in the game. I think it has a lot of, uh, a lot of a big, a good future. So I'm going to continue to support it. Uh, so every time I do see something that I like, I will most likely buy it. So, all right. And I believe it ran out of energy. So hey, I'm going to put it to sleep and I'm going to change to another Ethermon. And like I said, I'm going to continue to do that, continue to do that until I pretty much run out of energy all my Ethermon. So let's see. So I got pretty much one more uh, beat scene. You know, it would be really cool if I could have multiple Ethermon out and about at the same time digging. That would be pretty awesome. That will be a pretty cool future. Because right now I have this one, but this one's sleeping. Um, this one can't, you know. But if I could have multiple Ethermon, like battle multiple Ether Ethermon, dig at the same time, that will be pretty awesome, guys. Um, so that will be something cool. Look, I got a silver ticket. Nice. That'll be something that uh, I would love to see in the future. That'll be really cool because, I mean, I have a whole bunch of Ethermon, and there's no reason why I can't just battle them all at the same time multiple times, you know? So that's something I, I would like to definitely see. So I got another one. So I'm going to have a dig. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. And uh, see what, oh, I got a cabbage here. Nice. All right. So, like I say, guys, you just got to continue the process, continuing until you exhaust all these Ethermon's energy. 
And again, once their energy is exhausted, again, all you have to do is put them to sleep and they're back to 100, they're back to normal. So there's nothing wrong with them using the energy and then just put them to sleep and they go to sleep, they sleep it off and you're pretty much good, you know? So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So there's nothing wrong with that. Um, all you want to do is, of course, um, again, each Ethermon has a certain amount of energy. So definitely uh, use that energy, you know, use that energy. If you're not going to level them up, if you're not going to battle them, uh, might as well use the energy and dig some uh, stuff for some uh, rewards, you know. And again, the cucumbers all helps because what it ends up doing is it, it ends up, you could say, is um, it ends up giving you some rewards like silver tickets, uh, seeds. Again, these seeds you could definitely use and give them to the Ethermon that you want to, you know, level up. Uh, so definitely take advantage of that, you know, take advantage of that, you know? So let me see. I got this one. I think this might be the last one. So I got this one. I believe that will be the last one. I'm going to put it to sleep. And I believe this might be one of my last ones. Keep digging. And I think that might be it. So I'm gonna put it to sleep. Okay, sweet. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been up to. So this is Sia Furlough. As you guys can see, um, I've been battling, I've been leveling it up. Um, if you guys can see, it's on level 11. Uh, what's really cool, it's also in uh, level 11 on open C. And I'll show you guys right now what I mean by that. So let me log into open C really quickly. Go to my profile really quickly. So here in Open C, um, you guys will see uh, see a furball again. This is an is an NFT which I could sell and, and level up. And again, as a trainer, that's what I'm pretty much doing. I'm leveling up. So you see DCL level eleven. That means the central land. So I have a level eleven. Um, and again, here you can see level eleven right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, next. I am pretty much going to get out of here really quickly, uh, but I'm going to go to example one so I could kind of show you guys what I'm talking about this whole, the whole time. So I'm going to log in now as a reminder, guys, uh, it will lag. This thing will lag because every time you log into the central line, it does take a lot of bandwidth. Uh, and I'm also recording at the same time. So it's only going to make it worse in terms of slowing everything down. So there's one I just keep that in mind. So you, uh, you know, so definitely be patient, guys, especially when you are playing the central land and you're logging into your Ethermon accounts and all that kind of stuff. It takes time. It takes time. So right now I did go to example one, and I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I meant earlier uh, when it comes down to uh, you know all these uh, battle arenas. This is battle arena one. I haven't battle this one yet but as you guys can see there's a whole bunch of grass slime that i could continue to battle and and i as you can say and pretty much uh, level up and train my ethermon so that is really really cool and again now i have all these all these cucumbers actually that's pretty much what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plant i'm gonna plant let me let me let it let it load up. It's, it's loading up. I'm going to plant, uh, I'm going to plant the cucumber, you know, that I, that I'm going to use to give to, uh, my ethermon. And again, the ones that I'm level leveling up, um, and I'm going to show you, give, give it a second is this one right here. Uh, see a furlough, uh, furball, excuse me. See a furball. Um, I am level leveling this Ethermon up. So I know in order for me to level up, I got to battle him. Um, and I also got to give it some, uh, some health. So 
Um, now, right now, one other thing that I just noticed is that each ethermon, I almost feel like it has a, let me see. Let me see if I'm able to battle this one right now. Let's see, is this one's level three, level two. Give me a level one so I can battle it. That's three. What is this one? Nope. Two. I think I might have to go with level two. Level three, level five. Uh, I guess it's level two. It doesn't hurt. All right. So I'm going to go straight. Ooh, I beat it right away. That was easy. So I guess I'm going to go to level three. Ooh, I guess I beat it really quickly too. Oh, let me get this little green back. So every time you beat uh, a uh, ethermon, a grass slime ethermon, you do you know, you do get to a green little bag. And this time I got a silver ticket and some, uh, Ooh, look, there's another little bag over here. Let me get this bad boy. Ooh, no more silver tickets. So again, the way to do it guys is that you, you know, you kind of just have to actually let me go back to believe this. Yeah, this is ready. So the cucumber is ready. Let me grab this cucumber. I'm going to give it to Sia furlough. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I'm going to have to have them follow me because, oh, there, you, there she is. There you go. Got some hunger off the way. So now let me uh, go battle some more. Tech. Oop, right away, man. It's pretty cool. So I guess this is what I like about you know, having a high level is that now that I have a high, such a high level, again, what it took me to get to this high level was pretty much um, battling grass slime. I battled a whole bunch of them and eventually I, um, okay. Oh, not enough energy. According to this, I don't have enough energy. So what I have to do is plant uh, a cucumber or a cabbage, you know, once I plant those, I feed it to, uh, see a fur ball. I should be able to battle again. Uh, so that's pretty much it guys. I mean, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say guys is that, you know, if you have a lot of ethermon, Hey, take advantage of their energy, use their energy and maximize their energy. And once they're maxed out, put them asleep, put them asleep. They'll renew their energy. So next time you log into the central land, whether it be the next day, Hey, you're able to pretty much uh, do it all over again, guys. You know, again, maximize the rewards, their energy, get as much um, green bags as you can, whether it be vegetables like beets, cucumbers, cabbage, carrots, uh, silver tickets, marks, all that good stuff. We're only going to add up to your Ethermark account, which eventually you should be able to purchase things or be entered in raffle tickets, which you could win other Ethermonts. So, I hope all this stuff makes sense, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to uh, ask down below in YouTube comments. Again, don't forget to support this channel. Smash that like button and subscribe down below to your channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.